Good morning, Puckheads. It's your buddy Chop It On coming at you with a slate breakdown. We've got 10 games to get through today. I'm going to talk as fast as I possibly can. I've just grabbed myself about eight cups of coffee. I am in hyperdrive. So grab your pen, grab your paper. Let's dig in and let's go. I am a coach and contributor, if you don't know me, from dfsarmy.com slash ref slash three. The link will be in the description or in the comments section of the video below or in the article you will find out on Twitter here as soon as I get it uploaded. But uh, again, I don't want to spend too much time on me. I'm the best. You need to follow me. You need to become VIP. I'm the best coach. I can make you a winner. I can stop you from losing. I can help you win GPPs. I can help you win. I can talk about myself all day long. That's not what I'm about. I have a wife to spew that stuff to. Point is, we're going to dig in. We're going to show you how to get a little bit better at hockey today. But I did want you to at least see where you can find me and follow me and interact with me out on Twitter or inside DFS Army as a VIP because that's ultimately the goal, to make you a better player is to join the VIP program at dfsarmy.com slash ref slash three use coupon code chop chop for a 10 percent discount for the life of your membership and study all sports with all of our tools all of our coaches we're getting ready to do baseball all of our optimizer everything it all opens up to you for one flat fee we don't nickel and dime you with season by season by season stuff one flat fee unlocks absolutely everything for you there is no better value on the internet anywhere it cannot be found it isn't it it, it cannot be done it is out and we have the uniqueness of the vip slack room which is where i'm going right after i get done with this video to talk to my VIPs and sh talk player picks, player stacks, things like that inside NHL and get them pointed in the right direction. So be that as it may, if that wasn't fast enough for you, let's start talking a little bit of goalies today. Let's find goalies in like two minutes, three minutes. We're going to scroll down. We're going to look at VegasOdds.com, VegasInsider.com, and we're going to go to the consensus rankings, and we're going to start scrolling for big favorites. Carolina catches Arizona on a road back-to-back. -back. Uh, Philly. New York Rangers aren't exactly great. Columbus, Bobrovsky at home. Uh, Tampa Bay, Vazel on the road. No thanks. Six and a half leaning to the over. I've got a video on reading Vegas lines. If you want to know what the O15 means, I can tell it to you. It means it's leaning to the over. And um, no thanks. Uh, Washington, Edmonton, Nashville, Pecker, Rene. Not terrible. Um, Chicago. Let's pick a couple of goalies out. Chicago, that's an interesting one. I don't like the six under. And neither team is scoring goals. But let's make a little note of Chicago. And let's make a little note of Pekka Rene in Nashville. Let's make a little note. I don't like Holtby as much. Vasil, no. Vasil's up and down. Bobrovsky in Columbus. And who's the Philly goalie tonight? That's a big number there. And Carolina and Cam Ward. Okay, so now here's what we're going to do. And five is usually more than I knock it down to. I can usually get it down to a lot better scenario than that. But if I wanted to pick on Chicago first, and here's what I typically do. And I don't have it prepped for you. Looks like we're getting Forsberg tonight. So I'm going to click on him and open up his game log. And I'm going to go down ten games. And I'm going to count his wins. One, two, no decisions. So nine games, because I'd always toss the no decisions out. Three, four. Four wins in nine games. Not good. Giving up some crooked numbers in his losses. Not good. I want to see how many duds does he have. To me, a dud is under under 10 points. So that's almost a dud. That is a dud. One, two, three, four, five. Five duds in 10 games. No thanks. Hard pass. See ya, Forsberg. You're out. Cross him right off the list. Who's next? Pecorini in Nashville. This one's going to be a stellar one to watch. Game log. Last 10 games. Uh-oh. All wins. He's 11-0 in his past 10, 11 starts. Jeez, he might be 12-0. That's sick. That's a hell of a run. Lots of good numbers. He got the win in a five-goal game. He's still got 20 points for you. It's a pretty safe floor. So let's count up the duds. Um, let's see. Duds. Under 10 points. Mm, duds. Um, do you see? Do you, I don't see any. Do you see any? I don't see any. No duds in 10 games. That's pretty safe. How about let's count up over 20 point games? Because that's pretty solid for a goalie. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 in his last 10. Pretty solid. 80% chance over 20%. 80% per, chance over 20 points. 0% chance of a dud. Now, there is no such thing as a 0% chance of a dud, but very, very small. Probably less than 10% chance tonight. 
Over 30 points for upside. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sixty percent chance over 30. This is your best goalie on the slate. I'm just going to tell you that right now. But he's going to cost you. Let's see if we can find something comparable for less money. So we put a big check mark by Pecorini. Now we go to Columbus. This video is going to be long, guys. Just warning you. Uh, Bobrovsky. Same thing. Oh, there's a loss. Two losses. So he's 8-2 and two in his last 10. Now duds. One. Two duds in his last 10. Over 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 70% 70 chance over 20. One, two, only a 20% chance over 30. So 9,400 for Pecker Rene's, what was Pecker Rene? 92, 9,300. Sorry, didn't win. Pecker Rene's better. Uh, Philadelphia. Lions getting the start. Oh, boy. It's going to be cheap. Whew. Let's see what we got here. One, two, three wins and three no decisions. Ugh. So I've got really, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six starts to look at, and I've got three wins in those starts. So I'm going to pick out the duds. One dud, two duds, three duds. So three duds and six, seven starts. Ugh. Half the time he's going to dud out on me. And I don't see a lot of upside. I see a couple of 20s, no 30s. See you, Lion. I don't care if you're a minus 200-something favorite. Your game log isn't consistent enough for me to want to do anything with. Carolina, you're our last hope. Probably Cam Ward. You're our last hope, man. Getting Arizona on a back-to-back. -back. Let's hope that, oh, shit. One, two, three, four in a row. Pardon my French. Dud, 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 dud. Dud, dud. Oh, please, everybody in the world, run Cam Ward in cash. Please. Please run him in your cash games. God, that's a ton of dog, dude. You don't even deserve to be a goalie. No offense. You look nice and all. I'm sure if I shook your hand, I'd smile at you. But when you left, I'd laugh at you. It's not going to work. So your goalies really are, 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 are Pecorine and maybe Bobrovsky, but you'd probably Pe – Pecker Rennie is going to be a little bit cheaper. Cam Ward can't do. The Philadelphia guy, Lyon, can't do. Chicago, Forsberg can't do. Sorry, Rennie's your guy. Slot him in. That part's over. You're done. Okay? Run to NHL stats, and I'll, I'll run this stuff down with you too. Run over to NHL.com. Let's focus on results today instead of uh, activity. Focus on results, and what we're going to do is we're going to go to the team stats, stats and the team page, and we're going to go game by game instead of season long, and we're going to click on here. We're going to kick forward to about February 18th, February 22nd. What's today? 22nd of March, so let's go 22nd, and let's click that one. Make sure we add the results together, some results, run a report. And let's focus on goals for, goals against, shots for, and shots against. I'm going to order them. I'm going to tell you how to run this. You're going to have to write it down yourself. But every day I write down the teams that are facing each other, Tampa Bay versus New York, New York Islanders, New York Rangers versus Philadelphia Flyers. And I start writing columns next to their names. I put the Vegas odds and stuff, and I start targeting. You know, like Tampa Bay is a minus 190 favorite in a six-and-a-half game leaning towards the over. I'm going to like that game. Philadelphia is a minus 220 favorite facing the New York Rangers in a total of a six. I'm going to like that game. So I start marking down the teams that I like, the teams I don't like first. Now I'm going to dig into a little bit of let me see if I can't get another check mark in the good column. Let me see if I don't like it a little bit more. And the way I'm going to figure that out, I'm going to go goals for who's scoring goals. And I'm going to rank these teams. And I'm going to try and figure out who they're going against. Are those teams giving up goals? And the way I find that out, of course, I write down, you know, put a one next to Colorado, a two next to Florida, three next to Columbus on my sheet. And when I get those all written down, I click goals against twice. And I put a one next to Nashville, a two next to Anaheim if they're playing, a four next to Florida, a five next to Colorado, a six next. Who knew six? The sixth ranked team in terms of goal prevention was the Arizona Coyotes. I didn't know that. But now I do. Either way, these are the teams that are preventing the goals. These are the teams you don't want to necessarily be stacking skaters against.
down here at the bottom are the teams you do. So what I want to see in the goals for column is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And in the goals against column, I want to see them going up against a 25, 26, 27 type scenario. The closest I can get to that is the best I can do. If I face a team that's given up goals down here, I'm going to get a bump to my offense really no matter where it's ranked. But ideally, I'd like to see it be a team that's scoring a lot of goals. Does that make sense? You've got to do the work, man. You've got to put in a little bit of time, put in a little bit of effort. It doesn't take all day. But you've got to be able to put in a little bit of effort to spot these places, these ID, these spots tonight that are good matchups. And so when I do that, I can already tell you that I'm not as interested in Tampa Bay and New York Islanders as I was. I'm not as interested in the – I'm a little interested in the New York Rangers. I'm a lot interested in Philadelphia. I'm a lot interested in Edmonton. I'm a lot interested in Washington. I'm interested in Chicago to a certain degree, and I'm interested in San Jose. Because they are teams that are scoring goals facing teams that are giving goals up, or they are teams that are kind of scoring goals but facing teams that are really giving them up. So they're getting a they're getting a plus matchup. And then I'm going to go do the same thing with shots four. Write them down again. One, two, three, four, five. Click shots against twice. One, two, three, four, five. Toronto's given the second fewest shots. That tells me they're not going to be giving Nashville a lot of opportunity today. Okay? Now, Nashville might still score some goals, but the odds of Nashville scoring five goals tonight is bad. So if they're only going to score one or two, you can't just blindly throw a dart into that roster and hit a goal. You're going to have to be really picky, really choosy, and honestly a little bit lucky to get the one goal or the two goals that come out of that offense. You'd rather stack the odds in your favor and pick a team that is more willing to go off. Because if, if Tampa Bay scores six goals tonight, I can throw a couple of darts in that offense and probably come up with some goals and assists. Whereas if, you know, if, if Nashville's not going to score a lot of goals tonight, I, I, I'm going to throw a dart in there and most of them I'm going to miss. And that's going to hurt me in my cash games. It's going to hurt me in my GPPs. It's going to lose me money over the long run, so stay out of those games. But the way you stay out of those games is to first identify them, and that's what I'm showing you how to do. So when you click that twice, you match those down. What I'm looking for shots for and shots against is I'm excited again about Philadelphia. That's like a double arrow pointing up. I'm excited again about Edmonton, double arrow pointing up. I'm kind of excited about Washington, so call it like one and a half arrows pointing up. I, I'm not really all that excited about Chicago. So that's just one arrow pointing up. San Jose, kind of excited, facing a you know a, a team giving up shots. So call it kind of like a double arrow. So the double arrows are Philly, Edmonton, uh, maybe Washington, and San Jose. I've already found my offenses tonight, guys. What are we, 12 minutes into the video, and I found you a goalie, and I found you offenses, four offenses to target? This isn't rocket science, dudes. So when I kick out of this page, and I'm going to now double check again, and I'm going to go line production. You've seen me do this before. I go, I hover around the skaters, go line production. I click 10 game sample size, click submit, pull it down to 25 entries. Sorts by goals for Florida, still running hot, but Florida didn't hit my radar yet. Florida might be overpriced tonight. Colorado didn't hit my radar yet. Colorado might be overpriced tonight. Now I'll still look at them. Columbus was on the borderline, maybe. I would take them. Winnipeg, Anaheim not playing today. Ottawa was a little bit surprising. There's San Jose. Seven goals in 10 games on that top line, and we like San Jose tonight, but do we like the top line or do we like the second line? Well, let me show you how to find that. The way we find that is we got both of these guys scoring fairly well. We click goals against, and we're going up against the Vegas Golden Knights. Oop, that second line has given up the goals on the Vegas Knights. So is the third line. So I've got the first line in San Jose scoring seven goals in 10 games. I've got the second line in San Jose scoring six goals in 10 games. And I've got the second line in Vegas giving up six goals in 10 games. And the third line in Vegas giving up five goals. So I've got a good matchup. If I can figure out who's going up against the Vegas two and the Vegas three, don't blindly think it's the two on the two. Don't blindly think that the one matches up with the one or on the road, the two matches up with the one. Don't think any of that. Go look it up. And the way you look it up, as you go up here to skaters and line production, or I mean line matching, sorry. And I'm going to pull down San Jose, and I'm going to take a player off that top line in Pavelski, and I'm going to go up against Vegas, and I'm going to pick one of the more recent dates, if there's a lot of them to choose from, 
And I'm going to see what percentage of the time did the Pavelski line match up against what lines in Vegas. Well, 45% of the time they matched up against the top line in Carlson. That's not the line I'm targeting. I'm targeting this line. So they do get them 30% of the time, so it's not bad. And they get the, the third line 15% of the time. So that's, what, 40% of the time? So not bad. Not, okay, not terrible. Vegas, San Jose line one's in play. If I want to go do it again, I go to San Jose. I go to Couture because he's on the second line. Go back down to Vegas and do it all over again. Pick that date, click Submit, and let's see if the if the San Jose 2, up oh, a little less, but they do catch the 1 quite a bit. But they also catch the 2, 3, and some of the 4 a good bit. So this is the weaker defensive unit right now that we're targeting. So I like San Jose 2 a little bit better than the San Jose 1. I like the Couture line a little bit better than the Pavelski line, if that makes sense. And I've got some math to back it up. Okay? Now, if I want to go into another one, uh, let's show you Washington, because I really liked Washington tonight, right? I didn't see Washington scoring a lot of goals, but what I want to show you, we did see that Detroit was giving up a ton of goals on their top line. So if I go with, uh, who's on the top line? Ovechkin, you ever heard of him before? And I go to Detroit, and I pick me a day. And I want to see when they played last. Did Ovechkin match up against the top line? Sure did, 55% of the time. So I'm targeting the Washington 1 and the San Jose 2. See what I'm doing? Now let's do the Philly line. So I like Philadelphia quite a bit. Uh, Nolan Patrick's on the 2. Because now if you remember... I said that uh, in the New York Rangers game, the line two, the New York Ranger two with Spooner and Hayes uh, is giving up the goals. They're giving up five goals each. I can show you that back in line production in a little bit. I guess I probably did that in a previous take of this video. This is not my first take today. It usually is. Today it's not because, well, who knows? Just brain farts. But now I've got the second line of Zuccarello. I know that you know Hayes is on that second line. I know that some of these guys have shuffled around a little bit. I know JT Miller's gone. But what I do know is Zib is on the top line. Hayes and Zuccarello are on the second line. Spooner's on the second line. They didn't play together last time they played Philly. But what's going to be different? Probably nothing. 73% of the time, the number two line in New York matched up against the number two line in Philadelphia. They didn't see the other lines. So that's obviously going to be more of a coaching thing where they match the ones and the ones and the twos and the twos. So if I want to match up the Philly two, I want to match, you know, I want to get it, want to get a line that matches up against the New York two to target that weaker offense, that weaker defense, I need to be doing it with the Philly two. And that's Nolan Patrick and Voracek. Throw in some Provorov for good measure. But this is what we're doing. We're just asking ourselves questions. I see Columbus tonight. Columbus, you know, I need to know who they're going to catch. I need to know, here, let's do Tampa Bay. If I do Tampa Bay, we know that Kucherov's on that top line, right? Where's Kucherov? Kucherov, 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 there you are. And they're playing the New York Islanders. Uh-oh, i got to go back to December 5th. Okay, this one's going back a ways. This one I don't necessarily trust all the way because a lot can change in these couple of months. But what I see is the number one faces the number one a lot. A lot. So I can pretty much bank on the one getting the one. Does the two get the one? Who is that? Is that Point, Gord, Palat in Tampa Bay? Let's grab Point. Let's go up against the New York Islanders again. Now, what I should see is I should see the Barzil uh, line come up to the top. Nope. 72% of the time. So either Kucherov and uh, Point were on the same line during that game, which is possible. You know, something's up there. So I can't get a clear definitive answer. But these are the questions that i got to ask myself as I'm trying to match these lines up. And if I look at the Florida and the Barkov line, so I can't really get a definitive answer there, which sort of stinks. Florida's going up against Columbus. Let's see what they did last time. Ideally, I'm trying to target the Columbus 1 and the Columbus 3 
Did Barkov run up against the one? He sure did, 45% of the time. You know, Fligno's down on the three now, so they ran up against the three, another 26. So 60-something percent of the time, I've got with the Columbus one, I've got the, or with the Florida one, I've got the Columbus lines targeted that I want. Sometimes you can find these things out. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to dive into the research station. I'm going to start calling out players to you. This is VIP only. This is the research station at DFSArmy.com. This is the neatest little spreadsheet that we have. It's the greatest tool in the industry. Shows you games played, goals, assists, shots on goal, plus block shots, plus minus rating, independent course time on ice, last five DVP salaries. And it tells you the lines that they're on, the scoring line they're on. When you hear me say New York 1, this is what I mean, top line. And when you hear me say PP1 or PP2, this is what I mean. So the, the hayes zuccarello spooner line is actually their first power play unit. And that's the second scoring line. Okay. So what we're looking for is we're looking for value. I want to see shot, you know, goals, assists, and shots and goals, you know, shots and blocks together for a lower salary. And I'm going to start piecing some of these guys together. If I want to target the Philly two, who would I target on that line? Patrick, one goal, five assists, forty-five hundred bucks. Not terrible. Lindbaum, one one eighteen. Sorry, I know he's only thirty-two hundred. He's not producing. Voracek, 5'5", 34. It's going to cost me 7,300. But if I paired him together with Nolan Patrick, I've got six goals, 10 assists, 64 shots on goal. And I've got it for, what, 11,800. Okay, so under $12,000, I've got two players. Under $6,000 a player. And I've got pretty good production. If I throw them together at Provorov, who also is on the two, the, the second power for Vorchek gets access to the one, but on the two, Patrick and Provorov would be out there together. And Provorov's going to overlap both these, these scoring lines and give you access to both. So if I ran a neat little Provorov cash type stack, uh, because their double arrows pointed up in Philly today, Provorov, Patrick, and Vorchek, I've got two, three, eight, eight goals, 13 assists, and about What's this? 54 and 54, 108. So I've got 108 shots on goal, you know, to go with however many goals and 13 assists, eight goals and 13 assists. Eight goals, 13 assists, 100 and something shots on goal for a grand total of what is that? 9, 16, 16, 7, $17,000. Not even $6,000 a player. That is going to allow me to get into the bigger offenses of the night. If I want to go after Ovechkin, I can now probably get him. If I want to go after the top line in San Jose, I can probably get him. If I want to run the twos with a stud like a Kucherov, I can probably make that work now because I've found some deep value in a very, very good spot on the slate tonight. Okay? And if you've seen the progress of this video and you've been writing it down, taking notes, you can see exactly how I got there, and now you can do that for yourself. What you can't do is discuss the rest of all these picks. And you can't discuss all of the one-offs and all of the stacks and everything else we're going to do debating back and forth inside Slack today because you're not a VIP yet. So honestly, what you need to do is you need to become a VIP. And you do that, again, by going to the comment section, liking and subscribing this video, going out on Twitter, giving me a retweet if you like the material, clicking the link on the dfsarmy.com slash ref slash three. Use coupon code CHOP to trigger that 10% off because I don't want you – I'm not after your money, man. I'm not after your wallet. But we've got to cover the time that it takes to assemble these tools and design these tools and put the optimizers together and pay the coaches for all the different sports. So that's what that investment gets you, but it opens up every sport for you. Okay? So really and truly, consider becoming a VIP. Jump in. Learn how to fish for yourself, and then discuss with us all day long the proper place and get the win in money. We had a we had a gal the other day, uh, first day playing hockey, popped her GPP, top popped her first GPP ever. Good. We've got a track record. If you go to dfsarmy.com and look at the wall of fame on the right hand side under the tab section, we've got a wall of fame that reads like a who's who's list of six figure wins, hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, three hundred thousand dollar wins in some cases. That could be you. But you can't do it unless you're a VIP. Follow the link. Jump on in. I'm Chopadong. I will catch you when I catch you. And uh, hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. Also, oh, you know what? I'll put another link into a, another video I did. Uh, if you want to hear a neat little story about me flipping coins on my dining room floor earlier this morning uh, to study Monte Carlo simulators and variants and what that means for you as a DFS player and how we can shore that up inside DFS Army and make sure that you're on the right side of variants. 
Anyway, take a look at that video, and I will catch you in a couple of days. Later.